we're here uh, near where we ate dinner. We are at HK Pacific Center and we found this place called the Best Mart 360 which is actually a pasalubong stop. There, let's go inside. Well, they've got a lot of imported stuff here from all over the world. Not just Hong Kong. So, they've got Taiwanese cakes there. Um, shortbread from UK, I believe. Or Scotland. No, it's from Scotland. Yeah. Um, dried mangoes from the Philippines, dates, apricots, product of Turkey. They've also got they've also got beef jerky. So they have a lot of sale items here. Butter cookies in tins. Honey, spreads, peanut butter, as well as health foods, seeds, oats. Japanese snacks, American cereals, here are Japanese snacks, cakes, also some stuff from Market O, I believe it's Korean, Korean brand. So more Japanese cakes and then down there they have almond biscuits, almond biscuits from Macau. Things that I have in my cart. Shortbreads, a surprising thing I have in my cart because I tasted a raspberry and white chocolate shortbread before. I think it was from SNR and they have not restocked it since so I've been looking for this forever. And I think it's reasonably priced. 45 for two boxes. I'm gonna stock up on this. Especially the raspberry and white chocolate, which was the one I tasted, was so delicious, perfectly buttery. So I think this will be the same. My mom stocked up on XO sauce. 44 for two. The Kunki brand. They also have truffle sauce on sale. Truffle product of China, that one. And then they have dried scallops. Check out their coffee. Their coffee aisle. They've got pods. They've got the I think filter filter bag type. They've got sachets they've got also a lot of alcoholic beverages here and then the hard liquor I've got this stuff another pasalubo items I got milka Oreo brownie I don't think I've tried this uh, this flavor they go for 16 for 2 or 9 each. More shortbread fingers. Try a different different brand one called Highland Specialty. And it's just $15 for 300 grams. We also have dried meats, abalone, chorizo, um, jujube. Jujube. I'm full right now, but if I wasn't, I'd probably try this. There's a line. <laughs> Basically street food type. Skewered. Sorry. Skewered. Meats. I also have balls type skewers. It's called Happy Corner and we ordered waffles. I'm just gonna try waffle with butter and syrup. Something simple, a little sweet treat after dinner. They also make juices. Juices, they also have bubble waffles with unusual flavors. Black pepper. 
they have chocolate, they have a savory waffle, radish, and Chinese cheese paste. But they just ordered something simple. And Here I am, and this is our order. Simple waffle, just wanted to give it a try. Super hot, fresh from the iron. We'll try it. So here it is. Not too much syrup, not too much butter. You can really taste the waffle of it all. Kind of very mild vanilla flavor. Quite crunchy actually. Not that different from the egg waffle. It's just the shape of the crunch you'd prefer. Towards the middle they use a nice salted butter that taste comes out. But it's still not too buttery. Just try it. I like that a lot of the desserts here are not too sweet. So now we continue walking. I'm looking for black sesame. Cream puffs at 7-Eleven. So we are going to end up getting one of these things after all. Because the line is irresistible. We want to know what the fuss is about. I will show you what we order later. But those little characters there. I think they're meant to represent Ophal um, innards. I read something on the menu, uh, pancreas, lung, stuff like that. But they also have like squid balls, various flavored balls. By the way, this is on Pratt Avenue. It's on the corner. Over there. There is a Istanbul kebab across the street from it. Most popular curry fish ball. Supposed to be three pieces. $18. Let me try. Oh, it's a little bit oh it's spicy. Ooh. So this is a curry fish ball. Five pieces for ten. It's the same uh, curry hot sauce, which is a mala sauce. That's why it's so that's why it's got quite a kick to it. There you go. Welcome ice cream by this one is mango passion fruit yesterday the strawberry one tasted like a Strawberry cheesecake sort of it has the granola that gives it kind of like a cheesecakey crust bit Texture and now we're gonna try we liked it so much. We bought another one So because it's creamy and has granola this also has that Kind of cheesecakey taste passion fruit and mango I love the, the smell. It does that have that very tropical feel to it? There's equal parts passion fruit and mango. It's a very soft, sort of creamy ice cream. Almost like a mousse. Subscribe to this channel so you won't miss the next part.